Hello, Pisces. I'm going to get right into it. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here. Two of Swords, the Tower, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Hierophant. Tell me more about what this is. It seems like there was some kind of block and it feels like that's being removed pretty quickly. So this could have been like dark magic. This could have been some kind of uh, gossip or rumor and that's, that's been a collective energy lately. Um, something just being revealed. There is some kind of, or it could have just be even feeling stagnant and then it's like out of the blue, you get a message. So tell me what this two of swords and towers is about. Page of swords. Yeah, out of message out of the blue. Five of pentacles. Justice. Page of Cups. Could be a message that they left a third party, that they left something behind that was blocking them. Wanting to build something here with this high priestess, somebody that's very psychic, very intuitive. Wanting to build something with a high priestess. They're wanting that Ten of Pentacles, but what are they juggling still? Because I feel like there's still something. It's like they want that stability with somebody, but there's still something being juggled here. And I feel like I feel like this person's in the Queen of Swords energy because this other person's in the Knight of Pentacles energy. Knight of Pentacles is stable and loyal and grounded, but I think they're a perfectionist. Sometimes they move way too slowly. They want to plan everything out. Um, and I feel like this person's a little bit like bored with that, you know, queen of swords is kind of just tired of that energy. So tell me more about this two of pentacles, what's what was being juggled and what's going on with that queen of pentacles, the moon, four of cups, eight of cups. The fool. The Seven of Swords. I feel like there was... I mean, we got, both, you know, two different cards about walking away. In this context, I see it as walking away because it's Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. But I feel like what, he's, what he or she is walking away from is that Queen of Pentacles. It's so interesting. I keep getting like, usually the readings are very different per Zodiac sign, but I feel like there's like a collective energy of a lot of you guys going through like third party situations right now. Um, but the Fool, New Start. Let's see. Yeah, some, some kind of truth or something is being revealed here. Something's just come in and quick that's causing a tower moment. And this person is realizing they do want a Ten of Pentacles with you. Um, and they were they were juggling something, though, which kind of is what made you go into this Queen of Swords energy. Just taking too long, maybe wanting to explore their other options, see what else is out there. Um, it's like just trying to perfect everything, trying to, you know what I mean? Like not taking a leap of faith. The Knight of Pentacles is very you know, stable and grounded, but I it wouldn't say that he really takes a leap of faith. There's not a lot of passion there. It's just somebody who's, I mean, he thinks everything through, but it almost feels like this person was more in like the Southern of Cups energy where it was almost like, yes, he was trying to be loyal and grounded and stable, but he ended up, he or she just kind of ended up keep, you know, continuing to get lost in their head, illusion thinking about all the different options where it's like this person would like plan things out and they it's almost like self-sabotage where they were trying to perfect this connection with you and they're like you know I'm gonna I'm gonna message them next week at this day this is when I know they'll be home or I'm gonna stop by their house because I know they'll be home on Fridays um 
and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna work out and go to the gym and I'm gonna you know get that job race first so I can you know have all my you know have all my ducks in a row and I'm gonna uh, you know, do this and do that and perfect myself. But it almost, it almost that Knight of Pentacles is usually positive, even though it moves slowly, but I almost see it in like kind of a toxic light in this case, because whatever it is, it's like, it made this person kind of defensive and cold. Like it made this other person be like, okay, this is just not moving, you know, this perfectionist self sabotage attitude, it's it's nothing's happening. Southern of Cups, it's almost like, yeah, like they got lost in their head and they they thought they were being a perfectionist. They thought they were getting all their ducks in a row, but really they were just losing themselves in their own mind and overanalyzing, overthinking. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Cups and the Hierophant. Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Star. I feel like they mentally broke themselves. I honestly, that's, I'm taking this a couple different ways. For one thing, I feel like they almost like mentally just broke themselves. Oh, sorry, you guys can't really see those. I feel like they almost like mentally broke themselves. Honestly, I feel like they, Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. It's just, it's too much pressure. It's just having the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I feel like this person was in their head so much about you that they just kind of drove themselves crazy. Just anxiety, insomnia, uh, just self-sabotage, just going in circles, like maybe I'll like just, just really bad control issues almost. Like I'm going to message them at this time and I'm going to say this exact thing and I'm going to like trying so hard to be perfect and just driving themselves crazy. Um, and I'm also taking this to be like, I feel like for some of you, this was you where you let go of this burden. You were like, this was giving you anxiety. This was too much. You were just tired of waiting for this. You were tired of feeling them go back and forth because it's like you knew that they saw themselves as, you know, like they thought they were trying to do the right thing and perfect themselves and be good for you. But like deep down, they were kind of sabotaging and overthinking. And I think you could feel that energy where you're like, you're like, no, like, no, bro, like, you're not, you're not working on yourself, like, you think you are, but you're not really, not, not as much as you, not quite the way you think you are, um, male or female, either way, uh, so we have the star, tell me more about the Hierophant, tell me more about this, actually, Southern of Cups and the Hierophant, tell me more about this energy, the devil, yeah, 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 being, Again, again, it's like this person tried to perfect everything, but it was actually devil energy. They weren't really perfecting anything. They were just, they, they thought that they were working on themselves and they kind of were to an extent, but then it's like they would, they would trip themselves up and they might get caught up on certain things and just sabotage and go back to old patterns. Or like maybe they would kind of think like, it's just like control issues. It's kind of what I feel where they weren't just taking a leap of faith. They thought that it's like somebody that really wants to be somebody that really wants to kind of male or female they kind of want to be the daddy they want to be in that that in control energy but they're they're not they don't really have daddy energy does that make sense it's like somebody that wants to perfect everything but they're lost themselves they don't know what they're doing this person might even need counseling or they need some kind of life um some kind of I don't know why I said life support I meant to say, um, what, like life coaching or they, they need something, they need some kind of guidance. So it's almost like this person was trying to be the one in control. And it's like, they, they just, they, they, they had this plan. And I feel like the plan that they had to come towards you, it all just backfired. Like they just, they took too long. They messed it all up. You got tired of waiting. <clears throat> and yeah, it was devil energy. It was devil energy. It was, it was definitely devil energy. I feel like it was, uh, yeah, old patterns, old sabotage. Yeah, they had to transform. They had to have a new perspective because the way that they were planning things just wasn't working. But I feel like there is a death and rebirth and there's going to be a ton of cups here, it looks like. They're wanting that ton of cups at least. But it kind of depends on them if they're going to be willing to... Um, you know, let go of the control and, and get out of, get into more of a passionate romantic energy and stop trying to be perfect for you. I feel like they have you on a pedestal too. And so they, 
they they almost see you as something like a goal that they have to work towards instead of just seeing it as like a relationship that they should just go ahead and be in. You know what I mean? Um, any final messages? Four of Swords, Four of Wands. But why the why the Five of Wands? The King of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Three of Wands. So I feel like they're going into like a deep meditative state and they are they are wanting this with you. They are starting to have a new perspective. Yeah, and they're finally coming in passionately as like a king of wands type and king of cups type and not so much as, as like a knight of pentacles, you know. So it does look good. I feel like there's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of hesitancy to be in this energy, but they are realizing that you're, you're bored with this other energy. You're not, you don't really have the patience for this anymore. And they're realizing that their way of doing things just did not work. They tried so hard to perfect everything and it just backfired. It all kind of just fell apart right in their face. So they're realizing even if they don't like it, they're going to need to get in this, in this energy here. Oh, wow. I just realized we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and we have the King of Cups and the King of Wands. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> So like, yeah, that's like major, like double confirmation about him being in him, he or she, male or female being in this, this cups and wands energy, you know, romance, passion. So anyway, it's a good reading. Um, I hope this resonates with you guys. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email, dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And like I said, I really appreciate you guys like liking the video, commenting a heart below. Just it really helps me get back in the algorithm. So I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching.